Stan Jibalisco here to describe the field effect transistor counterpart of an emitter follower circuit which I described in um, an earlier video in this same playlist Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics Miscellany. Incidentally all this material and much more can be found in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics 5th edition published by McGraw-Hill. I will provide a link to the uh, Amazon.com page for this book in the description of this video. But here is the circuit from that book, Chapter 23, using an N-channel junction field effect transistor. This circuit is known as a source follower. This is the source right here. This is the gate, and this is the drain. Sometimes it's also referred to as a common drain or grounded drain configuration. This capacitor right here grounds the drain for signal, and this resistor allows for the DC voltage to appear on the drain and not get shorted to ground, courtesy of that blocking capacitor. It also serves as a bypass, so it's both a b bypass and a blocking capacitor. And the same would, uh, well this would serve as a blocking capacitor to isolate the input from the ground. So this is the way that you normally would bias a junction field effect transistor, an N-channel uh, junction field effect transistor for class A operation. Just like the emitter follower, you take the output from the source rather than from the drain. The difference between this circuit, the primary difference between the junction field effect transistor circuit called a source follower and the bipolar transistor circuit called a an emitter follower, the main difference is that a field effect transistor has a much higher inherent input impedance. So you can actually have a much higher impedance circuit here at the input and this field effect transistor will not load down that circuit. A good example is a parallel tuned circuit as you might find in the pre-selector of a radio receiver where you might have an antenna that has an extremely high impedance and you don't want to load down that pre-selector because it will reduce the Q factor or the uh, extent of the selectivity of that pre-selector, kind of thereby defeating the purpose. You might even substitute a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET here, an N-channel MOSFET, which has an even higher inherent impedance than the junction field effect transistor. I have another alternative that you might use with a positive power supply. Most power supplies and equipment these days are positive voltage with respect to ground, so they call it a negative ground circuit. This directly grounds the uh, drain and otherwise it's pretty much the same. The biasing is essentially the same. It's just that you have to be sure that you use the uh, you be sure that you use a P-channel junction field effect transistor here, not an N-channel. And you might also use a P-channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor for an even higher input impedance. This circuit is a little simpler than this one. But, uh, and uh, also, it probably has a, it sh you should expect it to have a broader bandwidth because you're not dealing with the characteristics of this capacitor here. This capacitor has, is, as you know, the reactance of a capacitor varies with the frequency, but the reactance of a dead short uh, is the same at all frequencies. <laughs> there is none. So those are two alternatives for uh, source follower circuits. Similar applications to the emitter follower, you would less likely see these circuits using field effect transistors in um, higher power applications or even in transmitting applications in general. You might see it as the as a buffer between a preselector, 
which uh, is normally connected to the antenna of a radio receiver particularly a shortwave radio receiver and uh, an RF amplifier stage the front end of the receiver so once again I encourage you to get a hold of a copy of this book there's an awful lot of stuff in here on, on this and all kinds of other electronics topics Stan Jibalisco signing off from somewhere far far away until next time so long.